This is your weekly trip to paradise, Louisiana style, with Gary Rasponi. Paradise, Louisiana is also brought to you by Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Finney's Car Wash and Oil Change, CCA Louisiana, and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament, Dimco, and by Farm Bureau Insurance. Welcome to Paradise, Louisiana. I'm Gary Rasponi. We're back at Superior Bait and Tackle here on Seagan Lane. Got a surprise for you. Youth Hunt, Turkey Youth Hunt finally came up on us right now. Uh, we're getting rid of all the ducks. It wouldn't have been a great duck season, but uh, starting off right now, uh, I got a little video thanks to a couple guys up there. We'll talk about it when we, when we get to it. Uh, congratulations, too. Uh, I, can't, I can't say enough about the people that take kids hunting. Uh, two young guys, let me look this up right now. I wrote it down. Uh, yeah, this is Will's first take, Will Robinson. Let me tell you what. Jacob Johnson and, and Chance Humphreys, uh, they videoed, they took them out there and called for them in Mississippi on a youth hunt. Uh, what a great deal y'all did. Uh, Back when we first started, we, we used to do turkey hunts after turkey hunts after turkey hunts. Just like everything else lately, uh, we're not doing it. So uh, one of our friends called me up and said, hey, would you like a, a good video? I said, definitely. And by the way, I'm going to tell you all, you know, last year, last couple of years, every time you send me a good video and we use it on the show, I give you a $50 gift certificate at Bowie Outfitters. Baton Rouge, so let me, uh, I promise you, Will, you get to me and I'm, I'm going to make sure you get that gift certificate. We got a bass tournament report, uh, a tournament report, something else that's really exciting. I'm going to tell you about it later. Uh, Gene Wills, um, excuse me, Gene Andre and Chris Mitchell won this tournament at the Boomer, the Boomer Shoots Memorial out of Concordia. And uh, what makes this special? Uh, I'm, I'm going to give you all the weights later, but Gene, his last treatment is this coming Friday. They got a big gathering party for him to celebrate uh, his last cancer treatment. Gene and them are so popular. That false river fisherman, too, looking at him, some great names. So uh, we got that, and then I got a fishing report. That's it. This week, didn't get a lot of fishing report. There was a lot of windy. Where I went? Windy, windy, windy. No video. Stay tuned. You're watching Paradise, Louisiana. For the thirsty. For those who hang out in packs. For heroes. For sidekicks. For those who see the glass half empty. For those who see it half full. For those on the right. For those on the left. For those with nicknames, for those with curves, for people that cycle, for people that recycle, for BFFs, for frenemies, for those with style, for lovers, for families, for big families, for everyone. My name's James Loop, and I won the uh, 2020 Chevy 1500. It was the uh, first day at roughly 5.30, 6 o'clock in the evening. I was like, let's stay fishing. And she's like, nah, maybe we need to get back to the launch, you know? <laughs> yeah, I had a blast. It was a great summer tournament. Thank you, Super Chevy dealers, for my 2020 Silverado. I'm Brett Favre. As a quarterback in the NFL, if I didn't stay focused, I ended up on my back or worse. Even the smallest distraction could make a good play or offensive drive come to an end. When you're in a car, the smallest distraction could end much more than a drive. It could end someone's life. Just like I refuse to lose on the field, I refuse to lose someone I love to distract a driver. And you should too. Focus on the road. Don't drive distracted. A message from Farm Bureau Insurance.
Uh, my name is James Loop, and I won the uh, 2020 Chevy 1500. It was uh, first day at roughly 5, 36 o'clock in the evening. I was like, let's stay fishing. And she's like, ah, maybe we need to get back to the launch, you know? <laughs> yeah, I had a blast. It was a great summer tournament. Thank you, Super Chevy dealers, for my 2020 Silverado. This past weekend, Boom and Shoots Memorial Bass Tournament was held at Concordia. And uh, thanks to Steve Fontana and always sending me this stuff. By the way, if you saw Joe Macaluso's column, uh, Steve is one of the premier any kind of fishermen. He's been the search for the ultimate spinnerbait. That was a great article. You all can see it. Go back and look at it. You probably go back on the internet and also see it. Uh, only, only what trouble with that? Steve was supposed to take me the last four trips. He took Joe to Old River, but I don't blame him. Joe puts him in the paper, but he ain't taking. He's supposed to take me on a good bass fishing trip, and I love going with him. He's so knowledgeable, so much fun. And thank you again, Steve, for making sure I got these results. Some of these other bass tournaments, y'all, y'all didn't quit sending me the results or announcing your tournament coming up. If you want some help and you want to get your people participating, give me three-week notice, call me every Sunday night, or email me every Sunday night, and then Monday when we're taped, I'll announce that rodeo, and you send me the pictures and photos, I'll send you the winner. So thank you again uh, for sending that. I think it'll be on Facebook, too, if you want to see more of how they did. Gene, Gene Andre, you, you're an amazing person. You all doing your treatment. You was out there fishing and doing it. All your friends love you to death. Uh, you and Chris Mitchell, what a great catch! Thirteen point eight one. They had a trout. Uh, I say uh, your second place was over there was uh, Brad Bowie and Chuck Ballard. That's old names that you hear, especially from False River. Uh, they had thirteen point five six. Donald Harvard, Harvard, and Donnie Harvard. Uh, they had third at 12.68. Devin Landry and, and Richard Brister at 11.58. Big Bass was Cody Badron and Kevin Badron, 4.79. One more time, congratulations to y'all. I'm going to come back with a fishing report. The Berkeley Abu Garcia Fishing Report coming up next. For the thirsty, for those who hang out in packs, for heroes, for sidekicks, for those who see the glass half empty, for those who see it half full, for those on the right, for those on the left, for those with nicknames, for those with curves, for people that cycle, for people that recycle, for BFFs, for frenemies, for those with style, for lovers, for families, for big families, for everyone. Pod's moving in storage. I need to clean out my study. We'll deliver a container. My brother-in-law's moving in. Maybe he'll help you pack. He's lazy. We can refer some professionals. It's just until he finds work. We can keep things at our storage center for as long as it takes. I am not happy about this. Or you can keep your things on site for quick unloading. Did you say freeloading? I said unloading. I heard freeloading. I'm sure you did. Store on site or let us drive your things to our secure storage center. Pod's moving in storage solved.
water is extremely low. Just had a big front, probably 30 mile power winds. So with everything drained out, you know, we decided to hit some canals off of the chef uh, to see if we could find, you know, locate some redfish. And sure enough, they have shown up. Look at that tail. As cold as it is, that tail is fired up blue. That means they are feeding. You know, they're not the biggest ones, but they're right in the slot. Perfect eaters. Makes it all worth the while to come out here. Chaz drug me out. I did not want to go. It was 40 degrees. But once you're out here, you might as well make the best of it. And go catch some of these beautiful slot redfish. Ooh, finally. Chris was wearing me out. The first four went to him. I finally got one. He kind of told me what to do a little bit. I think I was fishing them a little bit too shallow. I had to come off that drop off a little bit more and also slowed that uh, presentation down went to more of like a, a light dribble rather than a heavy pop. But look at these beauties right here. That's what we talking about. Let's get in with the flip, baby. There, he, there we go. So we're fishing. A very deep natural bayou off of the chef right now. And the reason we're back, we're using the matrix shad this time. As the last episode you saw, we went to the swim shed. That's because we were catching a lot of knothead bass. I felt pretty confident that we had a better opportunity to run into these reds over here off the chef. Put him in there. Start to get a well full. And the Matrix, like I said, is a little bit bigger. It's a little bit more durable. We went to swim shed last time, smaller fish, smaller presentation, bigger fish, more durable bait. These reds can be a little brutal on tackle. That's why we're using that. I got the limbo slice on right now on a 3-8. We're just working it. You can see the mud on the banks here. See how low the water was? No doubt, biggest cold front of the year so far. Very, very cold. Like, there he is. There he is. There we go. And then look, I don't want that wind to push me up on where these fish are at. So I'm more focused on getting the boat off the bank than I am getting this fish in. Because in the, in the winter time, what redfish are gonna do? When you catch one, and I've, I've preached this a million times, they are not going to be running in singles. Look at that pretty one in the water there. They do not run in singles in the winter. It is pure schools. They come out of the duck ponds. They get in these deeper bayous. And they gang up. Redfish in Louisiana need to be 16 inches. I'll give you a quick view on how you measure these things. I always put the nose up to the flat board. Go right here. He's 17. Now, if you wanted to pinch the tail, you, that's legal to pinch the tail and get it over. But he's clearly over 16. He's making the box. And that is probably one of my favorite fish to eat. Those are perfect on the barbecue pit. Perfect size. I'm 16 to 20 inch red. So see if we can get some more. Just hooked up. I'm actually using the uh, Matrix bubble gum pink. And the reason I went to that color, we're talking vibrant colors. We got an overcast today. It's cold, overcast. Big front came through. Uh, it pushed the water out. It turned the water up. So we need something that's gonna that's gonna you know give a, a vibrant color in the water. They're hungry. They're feeding. You know, anything that swims past them that they can see, you know, they're going to eat it. So I've been asking him to change the oil for months now, and he never did. So I finally just went to Benny's. 
They even washed my car for free. Uh-huh. And you know what? It was amazing. Yeah, I left Benny's and got home before Rob even knew I was gone. <laughs> Benny? Who the heck is Benny? Welcome back to the Berkeley Abu Garcia Fishing Report. Here, let me, before I get started, I'm, I'm gonna start this. This is a matrix shad right here. I, could, I, I know they call them lemon heads and all. This is limbo slice. And this is what Mike Bentley, Captain Mike Bentley over there out of Island Marina has been catching me. By the way, he's getting well. He had both his knees scoped. And Mike, keep an ice on him, but get back out in the water, because we need to go catch some fish. They are catching the fish at the trussels. They, they've been having a hard time. Miss Angie and hardly none of the people right now got live shrimp. Uh, the guys that the boats, the shrimp boats, they had a couple of them broke down right now. They ought to be back running this week and get them in and you can get live shrimp. But right now, this is it, the bait on the bottom. Yeah, three eight thousand jig. Depends on how the tide is, they're fishing the bridges. Also, at the trussel, a, f a couple friends of ours out there were just, it was rough. They went out there and they just, they trolled when they cared. By the way, and early in the morning, it's foggy. They out there and they're trolling. And one boat had six beautiful trout, not but six, okay, trolling. People know what they're doing, know the right speed. It was rough. Another boat I know of that they're herbing them, they had 10, 10 beautiful trout trolling. So y'all people that like to troll, it's getting close to that time. On the trussel, on the bridges. This is another color that they would get. And uh, this is right here, it's, it's called tiger bait. It's, you can see the colors in it. It's short truce, and, I mean, short, excuse me. Short truce, but it looks like gold, purple and gold. So these are the two baits they were doing it. Another thing I want to tell you, at my camp, anyway, even with the wind blowing sometimes, the gnats, this time of year, I don't care where you're going, the gnats will eat you up. The video things like that can make you miserable. They get in your ear, in your hair. This is the latest one I got. I use an ultrathine. A lot of people use those different amber romance. The dining them will use it all the time. Uh, some people use their masks like we got now. You know, that, that'll help. Those buff, you can wear them, keep them out. This right here is new stuff, and uh, it's not that expensive. I get this from the Central Hardware, but this one right here has got vanilla abstract in it, and it's got a lot of vanilla abstract. A lot of those Sackley fishermen I know, they, they, they make their own with vanilla. I went and bought that vanilla. It was just a little bottle of the vanilla, real vanilla. It was about $9. I, I, I could buy this whole thing already done for that, so this is it, Bug Soother. See where it's at, you see it in the local stores, it worked. We forget about the gnats, and that's it. Now, the fishing report, John Bernard sent me some reports from Dulac. Uh, again, they're catching redfish, uh, him and Ken Jones. Uh, Lake Catherine, uh, Miss Angie and David made a little short trip Saturday, I called them out there, they went to the trussel. Uh, it got real, real windy on them. But they've been catching a few of Smogger's board because sheephead, uh, and when they had their live shrimp, they were catching them up. They're catching sheephead, redfish, and, and speckled trout. When you catch a speckled trout right now on the trussel, they're beautiful. Uh, Mike, he was supposed to send a picture. He didn't do it. I guess he was hurting too bad. But Mike the other day had 17 trout, and uh, he had some mules with him. And they didn't stay out there long because it was rough, his knees was hurting. So, But all them captains over there are catching a few fish. I passed the Rigolese, had boats all over the landing, people out there, even in that wind. So that's my report. Now, fresh water, the Sacolay, the spillway is coming back up. All those fish that was caught during the autism tournament, uh, you know, I'm sure they're still catching fish on the Barrett side. I know they're catching uh, Sacolay, 
uh, crack ahead, uh, down in Sherman and them, off in them dead in canals. Uh, the spillway you're going to have to find, even muddy water, you go to the dead end, the water's moving, uh, black and short truce, and uh, you want a, a, a silhouette, a dark color in that, in that muddy water. I uh, was talking to uh, Mr. Salters, it said the same thing. He said, he don't know whatever. I didn't have any word from him this weekend about it. To lead a bend, the older guides, everybody to lead a bend right now, you got to watch that wind. That wind is real bad. To lead a bend, if you, if it gets rough on that lake. This is March. You know, forget what to say. March winds. Bring April showers. April showers bring May flowers. You're going to have some bad weather coming this coming week, coming out of Texas, uh, with tornado warnings and everything up north. Just be careful. Call them guides. Big book it. Now, the last place I'm going to tell you, Larto Saline. I had some people were catching fish. All of a sudden, they stopped. But uh, I, I think they called them slab hunters. He got their own lodge over there, Brendan. Uh, you look up for slab hunters. On their website, they got their lodge available. They fishing at night, and they got some openings during the week. He's almost booked up solid on the weekend, but if you want to get some places during the week, call them guys over there, straps and stringers. All those guys right now in Lotto, Saline. Uh, a lot of them are not fishing spider rigs right now, but they fishing up in shallow water, and then Sacolay up in there starting to spawn. And, and that's it. That's all I got right now. Spillway, a couple other places right now. Boss River, the bass are biting. You'll see that right there on some of these reports. Concordia, St. John, all those people up there right now are doing it. I got one report from, Saint, from uh, sitting over there at Blake Bruin. Wayne and them said they're not doing anything. So Wayne, well, Wayne and uh, Amatos. See you next week. That's all I can tell you right now. Don't forget, hydrate, hydrate. Great, great, great thing for Nats. See you next week. Paradise, Louisiana is also brought to you by Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Vinny's Car Wash and Oil Change, CCA Louisiana, and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament, Dimco, and by Farm Bureau Insurance.